Woo! Look at this. Oh my gosh, I don't want to show you too much because I want you to watch the full video and I will be revealing this final piece at the very end. So please watch the end of this video and I got a lot of fun. So let's go. Okay, what is up everyone? I'm super excited for this video because I got a new microphone so the sound quality is going to be better and I've been really trying to work on my camera skills here. So let me know down in comments below what you think of this. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can see my videos keep on improving. All right, now let's get started with the video, go. So as most of you may, or I guess may not know, I've been on this huge craze of working on mannequins. Mannequins, you may ask yourself, but yes, look at this. This one here turned out beautiful and it's kind of inspired me to go ahead and work on this one right over here. Now this mannequin here is a lot different than the mannequins I usually use. I usually use the female mannequins, but guess what? I only have one left. So I will be casting those. I've never done that. So that would be a video upcoming, but I would love to show you all what my plans are for this mannequin here. So let me sketch that out for you and go. Now that I have this little rough sketch done, well, it's not quite done. I'm actually going to be making it so that this here is almost like a big, big sculpture of, you know, a person. And there's going to be a whole bunch of little characters in here. I'm still trying to decide on how I'm going to do the characters. I'm going to add some like ladders and string. And I really think it's going to be pretty cool it's gonna be something different because usually I just do the paint pouring things if you haven't seen any of my other videos I'm gonna link them up here okay so let me just kind of figure out how I'm gonna design these characters and then I'll get right back to you okay well I couldn't put too much detail in those characters because I didn't want to waste the time on there but I did decide to guess what I think I'm gonna use Lego men because I feel like that would be a really unique Lego men building this big cool statue of a human being. Okay, now it is time to figure out what I'm going to be doing with the bottom of this. Like how am I gonna be creating that mountain look? Now I was thinking about it earlier and I did create this awesome kind of stand for that other mannequin I did show you previously. And I just used Mod Podge glue and it already had the paper on here. So that was cool and I glossed it, put lots and lots of coats of some clear glaze. Now I still have quite a bit of books left here from those other ones. So I am going to use some of this paper here to create an effect as well as some other materials I'm going to find laying around.
Ah, now this here is sturdy. It's pretty dang solid. Now I'm really hoping that this all works out according to plan. I'm gonna be applying a lot of this paper. I'm gonna be crinkling some up and just cramming it in to kind of fill out and create a structure of like kind of a mountain looking. After when I do finish cramming all the paper in these corners and kind of trying to build up a surface, I'll be putting a whole bunch of Mod Podge on there. Now I bought one of the big ones here because I've been using it a lot. It's kind of like the paper mache that you use when you're in preschool. And hey, who says you have to grow up, right? All right, so I'm going to start off with that and I will uh, see you at the end. Okay, let's go. Drunk, I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, trip, trip. Nah, chip, chip, chip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels. Don't stop turning. I know we're acting stupid. Wow, this scene is definitely weighing a lot more than it did before. I let it dry all overnight. So yes, I did let this dry all night. I didn't want to finish the whole thing just in case it didn't harden properly, but I am really happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to continue on with doing all this. So let's get this started and then I have a surprise for you all. All right, let's go. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now Why do we stay When I blame you for the things that weigh me down Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me Yeah, in the echo of your silence I'm thinking more of her She Okay, so what do you all think of that? I'm super excited. Now I let that dry for a full day and I'm super happy with the dynamic look of it. Yeah, so I totally wanted to go for a kind of natural look, like a rock formation. I think I achieved that pretty good, but guess what? Now it is time to use some gesso. So this is just the gesso from Liquitex. It's worked really well. I've used it in some of my other videos there. So 
I'll link those there if you're interested in watching them later on after this video. So what I'm hoping to achieve by gessoing it is that I hope it will kind of cover up that paper look because <laughs> it does still look like paper mache and I don't quite want that. So what do you say? Let's get started with gessoing this already, okay? Let's go. Okay, well, that was a lot of fun and I'm so happy with this. Wow, it's turning out absolutely awesome. Well, hey, it's uh, now been about two days here and I've been working on this, but I felt like I would want to show you this because you might want to see what I'm doing right now. So essentially I'm mixing some gesso and texture paste medium. So this is just acrylic texture paste and it's like a thicker, acrylic paint uh, and it's working really well to make this look like a good marble texture. Let me show you here. So this is what it's looking like right now. That's kind of a before like that. And this is an after right here. Look at that. So that's after. What do you think? Looks more like marble or stone? I think I'm gonna do more stone than marble, but it's created a nice texture in my opinion. I really think from a distance it looks pretty incredible. So I'm hoping that you'll be interested in seeing how this is done really quickly here. I'll just uh, film a bit. Then we'll get started with doing the fun painting process, kind of creating a stone-like color. And uh, yeah, I really hope it turns out well. So let's carry on with it and go. I've been waiting all night. Watch you blow a mile Please don't come over Cause you're not sober Yeah Now you know that ain't right If you do knew you was coming over That would be a problem yeah. If our friends knew undercover loving They would try to solve it Solve it, yeah Me and you so yes, that's basically what I've been doing for the last couple hours here and I'm just going to carry on with this here. Probably take about another two hours for this and then I'm going to have to let it dry for 24 hours and then we can all get started with doing the color. I might do one more coat of gesso as well all over and then I'm going to research some stones and like what it looks like and what the sculptures look like. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Let me carry on with this and I will see you all in a little bit. All right, let's go. An ocean, a 
quite a process to get the color that I really wanted um, it was definitely going a lot lighter and then I was like I don't know if I want light so I tried to get a little bit darker and it got all over my hands <laughs> wow so now it is time to match up the top mannequin to the bottom part I have yet to do the highlights on the stonework I'm letting this part dry first but I do want you Kind of get this a little bit darker. I'm not wanting to go super, super dark because I'd rather a bit lighter than darker. I kind of want it to stand out a bit from the other stone, but still blend in if that makes sense. So yeah, this is the stone part so far without the highlights. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of highlights after when I'm done with doing this, but I'm going to show you the mixture right now. So here's a stone. It looks really nice on camera here, actually. It looks really realistic. So this is the mixture that I have going on right now. It's just a lot of white with some brown, some blue, a little bit of black. And I'm going to put a little bit of some dirty paint water in there and just mix it up. And I definitely hope it's going to turn out really good here. So let's just keep mixing and then we'll get started with it. Looks like it's a little bit too on the blue side. I'm gonna probably put a little bit more white in there. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, this seems heavy. I swear that putting all that paint on it. Nah, I'm just joking. It didn't weigh any difference. It's still super light, but it totally looks like stone in my opinion. I'm going to touch it up a little bit, maybe add some brown in it. But with this mannequin part here, I've decided that I'm going to go for something like this. So this is what I've decided to do for the mannequin character himself kind of make it look like he, he's been carved out and polished and super nice so this is kind of like a marble effect i feel like that this rock stone texture whatever it is that i did kind of matches that really well i'm gonna do this in like a matte style for the stone that has not been carved and with this stone gentleman here he will be all shiny and glossy to make it look like a finished thing now I kind of think that creating this kind of texture here might be a little challenging, but might as well try and wish me luck down in the comments, please, because I may need it. All right, let's do this. Go. Sunshine, I've got you now. My body and body, oh, body and body, oh, body and body, oh, body and body.
do you all think about that? I'm super, super happy with how it's looking and coming along. And I'm really excited for today because today I'll be finishing this off. So I do have some bad news here, but I'm not gonna tell you it quite yet because I want you to all stay and see the final result here. And then I will reveal what I feel like is a bad news and kind of some changes in plan for this mannequin piece here. So I'm just gonna quickly time lapse through this of me finishing this front part of the mannequin, just basically slapping some paint on here and then uh, we'll be done. So let's carry on with that, okay? Let's go. Say you love me, say you like you mean Cause lately I've been wondering if we should be together Tell me how you feel, it's now and ever, now and ever But you're yelling at me for something I didn't even do Making it so hard for me And I think I need a vacation Cause all we ever do now is complaining And I've been getting tired of it lately Oh, feels like we're battling Maybe it's better if we're on our own So yes, as you can probably tell already what the bad news is going to be, unfortunately I've decided not to add those Lego men. I feel like that in my personal opinion that it will be taken away from the overall look of this piece here. I'm super happy with it and how it looks right now. So okay, now it's the fun part. Let's reveal the final product and go. Now it is definitely a lot heavier than when I first started with this uh, mannequin. I am so happy with this. This piece here is by far one of my favorites that I have done so far on this mannequin series. So if you did like this, please feel free and subscribe. And if you are interested in seeing any of my other stuff, please follow all my social media right here. I've been crazy about the TikTok thing, but who knows what's gonna happen with that, right? So because of that, I've been also doing a lot of the Snapchat as well. And hey, if you are interested in any of my artwork and would like to purchase any of it, please check it out on my Instagram. Remember, a portion of all the proceeds do go to Therapeutic Paws of Canada, and that's right here. And please everyone, like this video and share if you don't mind. And if you're gonna miss me, please check out these videos right here. And remember, Stay ambitious. Okay, see you later.